What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the Hermitcraft Amplified Super Mining Server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. You know, normally I say I'm having a great day. But I gotta tell you guys, probably well, for the first time in a long time, I may not actually be having a great day today. Um, I had a little bit of, uh, I don't know. I just was kind of not in a great mood this morning. Like, when I woke up, I just wasn't in a great mood. And um, I kind of felt a little bit worried about, like, life and stuff. So, uh, you know, normally on this channel, we are very, very... I, I try to make it so that it's never, ever a heavy. Like, I don't want it to be heavy. I want it to be a place where you come and you smile and you have a great time and you leave and you feel better than when you came. And that is the cornerstone of what I, my, that's what I'm doing. That's what we try to do every day at slipgator.com, which is not a thing yet. But um, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. It's what we try to do, man. I want you to feel better um, when you left than when you showed up. And um, hopefully that happens today too. I think it will, but we'll see. Um, but I think we're gonna get a little bit heavy today. Oh yeah, you wanna steal my blocks? Is that how you, you wanna steal my friggin' blocks, Barry? You, whatever, John, Barry. His name is John Barry. Um, but yeah, today I just kind of felt a little bit crappy um, and just worried. And I don't know why that is. It doesn't happen that often. I think everybody kind of worries. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that's unnatural um, in any way, shape, or form to kind of have some worries about about your stuff and things. And for me, I was kind of like worried it's about like life worries. Um, and... Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what I, what I was worried about today. And what happened, I logged in, I started playing around. So we're going to have a little bit of a talky episode today, by the way. I feel like it's been um, a minute since that's happened over here. So I thought we would do it. The last few episodes have been kind of action-packed. So I thought we'd start off by um, kind of death-proofing some stuff. Because what happened was, I started recording, I was telling you guys, and I was actually a little less happy than I am now. I'm a lot happier now than I was earlier in the day. Uh, I worked out. I did some calisthenics, and um, let me put this down like that, like that, and then we'll go on one of these, and we'll go on one of those. And uh, yeah, so I did a little bit of calisthenics uh, exercises to kind of stimulate the endorphin flow, and um, I feel like it made a huge difference. I feel amazing, um, but I feel I do feel a lot better. But um, so I got on, I started recording. It was really not happy. I was kind of like, Man, things, well, everything's the worst, blah blah blah. And there's nothing really for me to be complaining about, um, honestly. It's all kind of made up in my mind. So, um, but yeah, so I started recording, and then I died. I fell uh, going down to the new the Tango Tech Tango Slip Tech Enderman spawner. So. Um, and lost a bunch of stuff. So now we're back to our old armor. I lost um, I lost one Silk Touch pick. We have some in reserve. I lost my shovel. Um, I lost, what else did I lose? I got my bow, my ax, and my sword, and my boots. So helm, chest plate, leggings, shovel, and pick were gone. Um, so it was a huge amount of stuff that I, that I lost. And that was all my good stuff, you know, too. So it was not cool. It wasn't super happy about it. Then I went to do some more enchanting some things, and something happened that almost never happens on my channel. I deleted footage. You know, I got a question the other day. Somebody asked me, uh, how much of your footage do you use? Um, and so for a YouTuber, that's kind of like something that a lot of people um, wonder about, I think. Um, you know, do you see like 100% of what gets recorded or how much of it is, is, re is you know what I mean? How much of it is, is getting thrown away or something like that? And for me, I'm very lucky. I normally only, um, I record up pretty much 100% of what you see is exactly what I record. Um, I don't do a lot of second takes. Um, by, by I don't do a lot of second takes, I mean like zero. And so normally I'm always just like, you know, I, I have the time to record and um, you guys see what what it is that I do. I don't really delete stuff. But today, for the first time in a long time, I deleted footage uh, from this morning. Do I not have enough? Oh, I was gonna say I thought I had a I had thought I had more levers than that. I made a, a full stack of them. So um, deleted the footage from this morning, and uh, it's gone. I didn't I didn't like. It's not like I'm keeping it in reserve or anything like that. It is deleted um, because I didn't want to show it to you. I didn't feel like. It, I was putting my best foot forward for you guys by uh, showing you the footage of me just dying and being kind of depressed and stuff. So, um, but what I did learn 
you know, I try to try to make it a learning experience. What I did learn is that I have absolutely set up myself for failure here on the Hermitcraft server in that I died. I came back here all the way to the new land. I didn't have any food. I didn't have any ender pearls. I didn't have any anything. And so it was like this huge struggle for me because I had to like, well, thankfully I had one extra minecart in a chest over there. So I walked over here, tried not to jump, got to the chest to see what I had, had a minecart, came back, grabbed some uh, dirt, dirt pillared up like a noob up to the, to get up here. So I didn't have to jump too much. Took the rail back and I made it. And I made it and I got my extra stuff and now we're here we are. So I started building this thing off camera a little. Ah! Oh, oh, pucker. Holy pucker. Oh, there's a big disaster happening. Ooh, little, little, mm, 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 happy thoughts and stuff and things burn or do. It's a song that I wrote that we do when we puckered fully. And I don't think it can rhyme with fully. Uh, all right, so here we go. That was, a, that was probably one of the worster. Worster? It was not a great song. <laughs> let's, let's skip the Worcester thing. So we're going to make another rail up here. And this is completely and totally temporary. Um, I have some ideas for some really cool uh, rail designs that I want to do here. And we're going to utilize a lot more rail um, in this build um, all over. I think we're going to do some hidden rails and some stuff and things like that that take you all the different places. But the new house is looking good. You know, I wasn't super excited about that. Um, because it's always an experiment for me when I build something kind of outside my comfort zone, like a regular house, um, when it's not like a giant towery thing. But um, I think it came out pretty good. I kind of like it. It's cool. So now, even though like whatever, we didn't light up the rail and there can be mob spawns on there and six or half dozen, like that doesn't matter as much as that. We have a pretty efficient way to get down here and back up um, really quickly. And it's nice. So over in here, I did a little teeny weeny bit of work that I'll show you guys really quickly. I did put a stairway down here. I threatened to do it in the last episode. And we did put a little stairway down here. And what I tried to do is just anytime that I encountered um, dirt, I just left it to try to make it like an earthen basement. But I think that that is not a good plan. I think we're just going to clear this out. And um, we're going to make it into a proper basement for storage down inside of here for now. Um, but yeah, so I guess um, what I, I kind of talked a little bit about that I wasn't in like a great mood in the beginning, and um, and like I said, I try not to get too heavy on the channel. But the reason that um, I kind of wasn't in the best mood is because I had a convo with somebody, and they didn't. I don't think they in any way meant to um, plant any seeds of doubt in my mind, but they kind of planted a little bit of a seed of doubt about YouTube and. It's, it's longevity and kind of sustainability. This is very adult stuff. Everybody put on your your whatever adult things that adults have that young people don't have. Fancy shoes. Um, anyway, so um, they were talking about <laughs> sustainability and long-term and longevity and stuff like that. And um, it, kind of, it kind of planted a little seed of doubt for me. And it really, that's not really how I rock and roll, man. You know, I'm, I'm all a, about trying to stay positive and and I don't like I said I don't think it was this person's intention by any stretch of the imagination I in no way and blame them I think they're being very realistic um, but at the same time you know one of the things that I really truly do believe about anything you do in your life is that if you want it and you and you work hard and you try to be better and, and you you strive to be you know what I mean whatever it is that you want um, that that's what you I, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be silly and say like you'll get there every time like that's not that's not the truth like if you want to be an astronaut and that's what you want to be more than anything it's there's no guarantees that you're gonna be an astronaut but one one guarantee is is that if you don't try to become an astronaut you're not gonna be one no way will never happen is this off one two three four one two Ugh. hate so um hate's a strong word uh dislike um, so anyway, the point is that, yeah, if you're not going to really work as hard as you can at, at what you want to do, whatever your dream is, um, you're never going to, you're never going to get there. And so, you know, I, I'm right now kind of really fortunate that I'm kind of living my dream to a certain extent, you know, like, uh, the channel's not exactly where I, I would say is like a dream status, but it's really great and you guys are great and, you know, everything's going really, really good right now. So, um, on that front, I'm very, very lucky. Um, and I think it is in part 
because of the fact that I try really hard to be the you know the best YouTuber that I can be and make great videos for you guys. Like that's that's my goal, uh, and I do it every you know, and I and I live that every day. That's that's kind of what I do. I'm getting a little sappy here, guys. No one's crying. Don't. No, you're not crying. So, but um, yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing here today. Is kind of having to think about that. Um, the worry being that like you know. Um, just got married and, and kind of a piece of, you know, thinking about the future, you know, kids, is that going to happen? You know, and stuff, stuff and things like that. So, uh, let's make some chest sores, chest sores. We don't want any chest sores slip. That's weird. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I, I try to never be heavy, but you guys are getting some today, man. We're talking about real things, man. You know, some people get calluses. It's not sexy. But it's real. Sometimes people just smell a little bit. And that's just the reality of it, even if you like them. You just don't say anything because they're kind of stinky. You don't want to be mean, but it's just it's just the reality. We can't... Not everybody smells good. <laughs> what does that even mean? The point is, um, I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, some of it was from reading you guys' great comments. Um, you know, I still... am. Uh, read uh all the comments that you guys post and i try to post back and, and i think some of you guys have seen you know i used to be able to post back like a paragraph to each person now it's getting down to the point where it's like a slippy heart or something like that or um a thank you and um i really do appreciate you guys's positive comments um you know i really honestly for for most of the comments if they're not super positive i kind of skim um, because I don't feel like I'm making a crappy product here as far as videos. I think we do a pretty great job here. So if somebody's dissatisfied, maybe they're just having a bad day or maybe they really just don't like it. And that's fine. Um, so I don't really, speaking of don't like, I'm not super psyched about how that transitions from the wood to the, to the cobble, but, uh, check this out, man. Oh, so nice that we can just go ahead and come right up here. Now we have another kind of opportunity in the in the new land, and that is in once you get out to, to there, once you come to here, this drops you off here, right? We have no way to get anywhere, man. Like, so we can, you know what I mean? Like we made this great hole. Whoa, we got some ha hardcore. What was that all about? That was weird. So once you're in here, you kind of can't get anywhere. Um, so we got to fix this up. Now it's on the list. That is on the list. But the other thing that is on the list that is of huge concern now, because not only did I lose all those things I told you about, the armor and all that stuff, but I had six diamonds on me because I was going to repair a couple of things. So the, a bigger priority right now is that we're really low on diamonds. And in the new land, we're going to need a lot of building materials too. We just place all those chests down there, right? We got to fill them up with something, man. We got to fill them up with something. So what we're going to do squirt some of this garbage in here i think string goes in there that looks like a great place for glass bam we're good is we got to get a mine going um and i'm trying to figure out a good spot to do it and i talked about it in the last episode down here there's like a cave thing um that's kind of a cool spot but i'm thinking that we're going to do it a little bit in a different spot actually um the reason being is i kind of want it to be a little bit out of the way um, a little bit different and kind of like a landmark type deal. So what I was thinking about doing, I don't know if this is thick enough. Um, over here is kind of a neat spot too, and we haven't really explored it yet. So I thought we'd head down here really quickly. And just take a look at what we got going on. So it looks like, whoa, double, double torch. Looks like, check it out. We got this going on down here, this down here, and well, it cuts off right there. So I was hoping for a cave, Hoping for a cool cave system. Um, but what I'm thinking... Oh, we got another cave over here, man. Holy crap. Ooh, this looks more promising. Ugh, are you more promising? This is quite a thing. Oh, no, it's not. Crap. I'm looking for, like, a big hole. That's what I was hoping for. That's gross. All right, so... Take out this creeper guy. Peace out, homie. Come down here. So this is a cave system. Holy crap -o. Ooh, we got some sandstone down here. Oh, cool. Let's head down this way just to see what we got. Another creepo creeper. Ooh, don't get me. Just calm down, creeper. Calm down. I think I have hostile mobs noises turned off because I was over at the Enderman farm. There we go. 
so we're getting a, we're getting there. We're getting there. A little bit of a hole here. This is definitely something that's worth exploring. We're running a little bit low on torches. Uh, ooh, I'm hearing some skellies. Probably from this other hole here. So this isn't really meeting my needs. Um, and so I think what we're going to end up doing is doing like a minecart elevator that goes down to a central location. I was hoping to find like an underground um, ravine or something like that. Wow, we, there is a lot of stuff and things down here, though. Interesting. We got a lot of mob spawns down here right now. Ooh, super guy. Holy crap. Super shovel with a helmet. What the hell? So what I'm thinking that we'll do... Let's have another look. I'm thinking up in here. So... I want to pop up here a little bit and have a look at it from over here. So I was wondering if we can make this into like an entrance. And of course, you know, the tough part is that a lot of these places we try to, you want to try to like walk into or walk to, and you can't walk anywhere in Amplified. Like everything is super hard. Um, there's all sorts of hills and stuff like that. We have the giant like world cloak array there. We could do something in inside of that, but I'm thinking that that might get covered up um, once we do the, the portal. Um, we could do it right over here. This is kind of like a thing, right? It almost looks like the entrance to a thing. So what if we were to just go right in here? Is this one, two, bam, one, eh? No, that's cool, right like that. And then we could just kind of start digging into here and build like a the front of a of a mine shaft sort, sort of thing. Kind of a, a dwarven element, perhaps, or something like that. Um, but... We got to do the aesthetics, but we need the diamonds too. All right, so I tell you what, guys. I've rambled on for quite a while. You guys have been awesome. Thanks very much for sticking with me. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start doing a little bit of off-camera work, and I'll BRBs. Get off my front porch, man. What are you trying to do? And we're back. I just made it day, and we have a thing. It's a thing. It's like a mine entrance thing. I didn't want to go too crazy. I mean, it is just a mine entrance, but I wanted to do something kind of cool. I had a bunch of, went back to uh, the base a couple of times, we went back to the old base, the home base, got some building materials, got some andesite, and we just peppered this with like uh, smooth stone and andesite, built kind of like a dwarven mining entrance type thing, I think, I don't know, added some netherrack for fire, and on the side over here I had this neat spot, can you see what I did? I added the slip gator symbol out of smooth stone in here, just to make it look cool, so uh, that was kind of a neat little thing. For a mine, it's kind of nice. And then over here, I dug um, a 3x3 three three all the way down to 12. It is a huge, a huge drop down in here to get down. And so I think then what we'll start doing is digging in this sort of lead direction. Um, and normally, I do like a 3x3 three three hole. And we'll do it a little bit nicer. Like a lot of people, I don't know. I, I really like mining. <laughs> like, I like digging. So, um, a 3x3, three three, I like to do it like that. It's a little bit more space so you can see. Um, and it's just kind of nicer. Got a ton of resources from doing this. Got a ton of, like, smooth stone and stuff like that. Got a little bit of andesite and diorite. So, we're doing a lot better there. But straight away in here, I'm thinking... We're going to end up doing a minecart elevator, of course. Either that or I don't know. Maybe I'll play around the slime block elevator. Because that would be fun here, you know what I mean? A little bit different and a little bit faster. I think it's a little bit more compact, too. So I can take a look at, um, I think Z's got a design that he used. Um, I'm not sure where that came from. I think Mumbo did a tutorial on it here pretty pretty quick. He's done one. Um, and so that might not be a bad idea right over here. But I don't think we're going to be able to get to it today. Um, so I wanted to dig this out a little bit. Um, Maybe take a look at that slime block elevator. To get up here, though, it is pretty intense. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. So I should have thrown a pearl first. So we can pearl up a bit. Oh, good, good, good. oh my god. I did it just before when I was doing this. I did it like three times. Get up there. So we can get up a bit with a pearl, but it definitely takes a while. Um, it's quite a drop. I think that that is on 12, and then when we take a look, let's get up to the top here. We can take a look at how high it is. We're way higher than sea level, man. I think we're up at like 60 or something like that. Let me go ahead and take a look here. We are at 
80. So it's 80. Like, that's a lot higher than normally you would be mining at. I think a slime block elevator would be really cool. And you know what else? We could probably add some other stuff and things in here, too. Now, right over on this side, I can't really show you over here. But I had to kind of cut it short. I was going to make it a little bigger. I think we're going to do something, something on the inside of these walls, too. Um, could have made it a little bit bigger, but... Oh, we really can't see. Man, this place is crazy. There's a crazy amount of stuff and things here. So I'm going to try to climb over. Oh, it looks so cool. Can I climb over? Will you allow it? Will the Minecraft gods allow this? So right here, I actually dug out. That's like the edge of the inside wall right there. So I didn't really know how far back this went. But then back here is... Well, whatever this is, but the back here area. So, uh, take out some of this gravelly crap. Crappity, gravelly, crappity from the falling gravel. Like so. But I think it came out pretty cool. If you guys like it, make sure you let me know. Hit the thumbs up button. And then I still got a little bit of uh, laying of uh, some of the stairs to do and stuff and things like that here. But, um, yeah, we definitely got to see if I got anything in here. We could go ahead like this. This is probably be pretty cool. Lay in some stairs on the floor too. I don't know. It might make it look too round and take that dwarven feel away, which we really kind of want to keep. Um, when I say like a dwarven mine entrance, I mean like the dwarven mine entrances. I always think about them like this. They're always like really tall and then kind of angled like that. They have that three angled deal going on there. So, oh, oh, black horse of surprise! How you have surprised me so much. You caused the pucker. I should call you pucker. Pucker the horse. Silly pucker. So, um, yeah, I don't like this at all. So we're going to pop that up. Not a cool thing. Um, but I know I tell you what, guys. I think the episode is going to be a little bit shorter today. Especially for, I think this is going to drop on a Saturday. But, um, yeah, with the deleting of the early footage earlier today and some of things like that, I'm just running out of time a little bit. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys liked hanging out. I did do some work. At, very, at the very least, we did do some work today. We got the new uh, ghetto rail system going up to the portal done, and we got an entrance to the mine going. So we got some building done, and it feels good. So I hope that even though I wasn't having the best day today, that when you leave, you felt a little bit better. I hope. So if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.